this is Caroline from Caroline Bento. Today's video will be Guardians of the Galaxy theme. Yep, I went to watch it last Sunday wearing my awesome Galaxy leggings, obviously. I thought it was a visual dream. I fell in love with the colors, the frames and the universe they've managed to create. And of course, I fell in love with Baby Groot. Come on guys, his big eyes, his adorableness and the way he understands nothing at all and the way he just plays with his leaves on his head, he's just too cute to be true. I actually literally cried because I couldn't handle the cuteness. Shh, that's a true story. Which is why today I decided to show you how to make a baby Groot bento. Seriously, it's so easy. Make it for someone who loved the movie. Let's go in the kitchen. Originally, I was planning on turning Groot into a sandwich, but I saw that it already existed on the internet, so I was a bit disappointed. Then I had this awesome idea that I haven't been able to find anywhere else. Why not make Groot with noodles? Or noodles, like I like to call them with my boyfriend. These were egg noodles. Basically, the trick here is to keep the noodles in their bundle shape. Cook them according to your package's instructions and do not touch them while they are cooking. You'll see that I used two bundles, but that's because I was afraid of failing one of them. You can make just one, or more if you want an army of baby Groots. I won't judge. Drain them and let them cool completely. Now that they are cooled, we can start building Groot's face. Place some lettuce leaves in the bottom of your bento. Then gently and carefully transfer the nest in the lunchbox. Fill the voids with more lettuce if necessary. Add a tiny bit of bouillon powder or any other dried herbs on the top of Groot's head. It's just a tiny bit and you won't feel it too much when you mix the noodles later. Then, let's cut the eyes and mouth. As usual, cut a round shape for the eyes and don't forget to double the nori to get two identical shapes. Then, cut a half moon or half circle for the mouth and two wide U-shapes for the eyebrows. You can also make two little rounds with a white piece of lettuce to get cute little highlights in Groot's eyes and mouth. Here I decided to add a tiny bit of oregano for the green moss that is on his head. It was just a tiny bit and in the end I did not feel the taste. Now we're going to make the little detail that I loved about Groot. The little branches and leaves sticking out everywhere. For this I'm going to use baby broccoli stems. Basically just cut two florets, blanch them for a few seconds and stick them in Groot's head.
For the second part of the bento, I wanted something light and I decided to go simple. I started with a few peppers that I had lying around, quickly stir frying them in a pan with some olive oil. Then I lined my bento box with some lettuce and added my peppers. I also added some cured green beans that were sitting in the fridge. Cut the green beans diagonally, it'll make them look prettier in your bento. And voila! Your Baby Groot's bento is done! You can prepare a little container of sauce on the side. I love mixing sesame oil, soy sauce, a bit of sugar and a bit of Chinese white wine or rice vinegar. When you're ready to eat it, shake it, shake it, pour it on the noodles and separate them with a fork or chopsticks. Or you can devour it as a big lump like I did, noodle cake style. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and to comment down below because I love reading your reactions. And you know, if you want to see more, you can always subscribe. I'll see you soon in another video. Bye!